Okay, now that you're more comfortable with graphing compound inequalities, let's talk about how to solve compound inequalities. So when we have an or inequality, see all of these on this side have or. When we have or, it just means that we're solving two inequalities. It's like we have two problems in one. So, we're gonna solve these just like we've solved every other inequality that we have so far. For x minus four less than negative seven, we need to add four to both sides. When we do that, x is less than negative three. So we've solved one inequality, now we need to solve the other. On this one, we have 2x is greater than or equal to 12. To solve this one, we need to divide both sides by two, so x is greater than or equal to six. So, we need to graph these one at a time. x is less than negative three, so I need an open circle over negative three. The variable's on the left, so I can draw my arrow going the same direction as the inequality symbol, which is to the left. X is greater than or equal to six. Because I have the or equal to underneath the inequality symbol, I need a closed circle over six. Because X is on the left, I can trust the direction that the arrow is pointing, so I'm gonna draw my arrow going to the right. So now we're ready to set up interval notation. So we are going to start on the left. From the left, the first thing that we get to is negative infinity. So negative infinity, comma. Then our first stopping place is right here at negative three. It's an open circle, so I use a parenthesis. Remember when we get to the break in the graph, we use a union for or inequalities. Then we see we pick back up after the break right here at six. We're gonna use a bracket on six. And then from there, we see we go to positive infinity, so we need positive infinity and parentheses at the end. So I'm gonna skip down here and do number five. For number five, we need to start by distributing negative three. So negative six x minus three is less than negative 15. From here, we need to add three to both sides. So I have negative six X less than negative 12. Now, when we get to this step, we have a red flag. We have to switch the direction that the inequality is pointing because we divided both sides by a negative six. So X is now greater than positive two. And once I get it to this point, I can move on to the other inequality because we've solved this one, we're ready to move to the other one. So on this one, we begin by subtracting one from both sides. So negative X is greater than or equal to four. Divide both sides by negative one. Okay, again, red flag. We're dividing by a negative, so we have to switch the direction of the inequality. X is now less than or equal to negative four. So 
So we're ready to graph. X is greater than two means I need a two with an open circle over the two. I have the variable over here on the left-hand side, so I can trust the direction that the inequality is pointing, so I need to go to the right after two. Then x less than or equal to negative four means I need a closed circle over negative four and an arrow going to the right, excuse me, that is to the left, an arrow going to the left because the inequality is pointing to the left. So from here, to do interval notation, we start on the left, we go to the right. From the left, we have negative infinity, so open parenthesis, negative infinity, close parenthesis. Going from left to right, our first stopping place is right here at negative four, negative four with a bracket. Then we need our union symbol for the break in the graph. We pick back up right here at two, so we have a parenthesis at two. And then from there, we go to infinity, so I have infinity with another parenthesis. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video. I want you to give number four a try. So try out number four, then come back to this video to see if you got it right. So now that you've tried out number four, we'll work it together. We'll begin by working the inequality on the left, adding 14 to both sides, dividing both sides by seven. So x is greater than or equal to two. Then we need to solve the other inequality. We'll start by subtracting five away from both sides. Four x is less than or equal to negative eight. Divide both sides by four. So x is less than or equal to negative two. So I'm looking at x is greater than or equal to two. Need a closed circle over two and an arrow going to the left. That is not the left, that is the right, sorry. So an arrow going to the right because the inequality is pointing to the right. And then we have x is less than or equal to negative two, so I need a closed circle over negative two also, because we have another or equal to. This time I'm going to the left because my arrow in the inequality is going to the left. 